Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Pineapple and today I am building a modern home with a really strong orange theme, which is always super exciting. Orange is my favorite color. Um, if you're interested in this build, you can download it off of the gallery. My origin ID is PineappleYT. So this building house <laughs> ended up being about, well, exactly two bedrooms <laughs> and two and a half baths. Uh, my favorite part of it is the patio. I thought it turned out really well. I don't know. Sometimes when I make modern houses, they kind of, to get the sort of modern look, they don't seem very functional. And so there are some pieces where it's kind of like, why is this here? But overall, I thought this one actually turned out really well. So I was kind of excited and I liked this little trick I did here with the fence. I added in a window. Um, it's one of the newer ones that we got from Get Famous. And it's like got a really bulky exterior, but the interior is just the frame. So I had to double it up. So there is a little bit of crossover, but I just love the look so much. That I decided to go with it. Um, I didn't want any other window there. And so eh, trade-offs. I usually don't do things that glitchy overlap, but I feel like it's not too bad. I don't know. You can let me know. Um, but yeah, so I did build this in Dalesville Valley. This is the first one that I've... I've, well, okay, no, it's not. That's a lie. Um, it's That's also a lie. I was about to say in this neighborhood. It's really not. There's only one neighborhood I haven't built in, and that's the one that's, like, really dingy looking. And But anyways, the lighting in Dale Soul Valley is just awful, and so I feel like it really does not show off this build to the best of its abilities. And so for the thumbnail, I did actually put it in Magnolia Promenade, also because I got like the orangest sunset behind this build and it was amazing. So I think that's what the thumbnail is going to be. At the time of filming this, I've actually not made the thumbnail <laughs> because I've started school back up again after spring break and I'm a mess. Um, if you want to know how school's going, today was the first day and basically <laughs> we reviewed, like we, we had a presentation and we could hardly hear it because they're doing asbestos cleaning in the Seattle classroom and so they switched classrooms unexpectedly and so basically our audio is somebody speaking into a mic and then a that goes out to the like the classroom and then that audio comes into a different microphone and it's really muffled and really hard to hear and like it's best if the instructor is standing right in front of the podium where our microphone is to hear them but they kind of wander off <laughs> and then we can't hear them and it's super it's super awkward to interrupt somebody to be like um um we can't can, can you can you go back to the desk we we can't understand you it's like really awkward to have to keep doing that and like I honestly sometimes I just wish we could just like shackle them to the, like the physicians like don't move from here we can hear you here we can't hear you or anyways so we had that and then we basically did the same lecture over again in our small group just like where we're at not connected to Seattle so we went over the same lecture in a longer amount of time and at one point our instructor oh my god i might cry <laughs> our instructor was like and i really don't like how they described this but luckily i have a different lecture that i did so i'm just gonna bring that up real fast and so <laughs> she pulls up this lecture and it's 186 slides long <sighs> she's like this will explain it much better i'm just like Oh, <laughs> it was really bad. I, I need to stop screaming. This this literally just happened, so I'm extraordinarily worked up over it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how school's going for me. It's the first day. I already feel like I'm dying a little inside. But like I have, I have eight classes, nine technically, because one ends halfway through the quarter and then another one starts. It's and our quarter is only eight weeks long. Anyways, it's a lot. Uh, but so if videos are a little sporadic, I mean, they're always sporadic, but if they're even more, that's why. <laughs> but yeah, so we are doing like one of another favorite parts, it's like this little patio space. And I did the roof and I didn't talk at all about it, but basically I made it one square long, shuffled it back, and that way I could get the slope to go a bit further down. And I, to meet up with that window, and I thought it looked really cute. Um, I like how it turned out. It was pretty exciting. I, like I said, I really love how this turned out. And 
it, this build kind of reminds me a lot of my um, my pumpkin spice cafe, the modern one, because it uses uses a very similar color scheme. Um, except for that one included some more coffee color tones, you know, to, you know, it sort of had like, it was white or like cream colored orange and dark brown to symbolize pumpkin spice latte. This one's just orange and white. So I guess it's a creamsicle. It's my creamsicle home. Okay, I need to calm down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I loved, loved how it turned out. And right now I'm just trying to figure out the window situation because that was kind of messy. And also the layout for this was also kind of messy. <laughs> But I, I think it's one of my more realistic looking interiors in a way. I feel like it it looks like how I feel like a home might. I don't know. Not that I've ever been in one. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I had a different story I wanted to tell you guys. I've been collecting them basically over my spring break and my favorite one. So my boyfriend and I went to a nice restaurant and I bought um, an adult beverage um, that sounds like really naughty. I, I am over 21, but still, okay. <laughs> and so it looked really good. And I think it was like kind of lemon flavored. And so I'm drinking it. And then all of a sudden, I feel like it feels like a piece of pepper is lodged in the back of my throat. And so I start like violently coughing. And like, I hold up my thumb to my boyfriend to like let him know that I'm fine. And he like afterwards, he was like, you stuck up your thumb and then you kept coughing even harder. I was concerned. So I'm like coughing, cough. I'm like tears are like streaming down my face. And finally I get myself under control and I look in my drink and it has pepper in it. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> what? Like, I guess it's supposed to be a really fancy type drink, but it has pepper in it. And I almost died a little bit. And I think it happened because I, I only had a couple of tablespoons left in the drink. And so it was more obvious, like more concentrated, like flecks of pepper. And so the waiter coincidentally comes over. I'm still like, my I'm, my eyes are still streaming a little bit. I'm obviously had an event. <laughs> and so he asked us like, you know, like if our food tastes good, I'm like, yeah, um, uh, uh, is there pepper in this drink? And he smiles and he's like, yes, and cardamom. And then he walks away. <laughs> no, how are you? Are you okay? You obviously look like you died a little bit. Nope, just yes, and cardamom. <laughs> and I checked the menu and it did say it had pepper in it. And so that was a bit on me, but I was more just like, you know, <laughs> I just like, I feel like I almost died. If you could be like, oh, I'm sorry about that. The menu did say, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. And cardamom. <sighs> I use some trees here. I sized them down so they will kind of disappear if you get too close to them. But I just wanted a really bushy bush here. And we don't really have a lot of those. We kind of have one bush that looks uneven and is large. And then we have two just very round rotund bushes and one of them has like flowers and it's like it's almost like somebody took like an egg and put it on long side wise but it's more symmetrical anyways <laughs> it was from romantic garden but i thought the landscaping with this turned out pretty good too kind of simple but it's just i like the colors of the trees that i did end up going with i really did try and match them to the house so that they looked nice and I kind of went with a more simplistic sort of um, landscaping, so nothing too extreme, um, not as rugged as I usually do, but still a little bit, a little bit, but so I, <laughs> I took a plane that the spring break involved a plane to get back to Seattle and <laughs> um, our flight was delayed about an hour, like after, so we had gotten on the plane and so we just had to kind of sit in the plane for an hour, which is like way worse than having to sit in like the terminal. And so the reason why our flight was delayed was, <laughs> the, okay, so the, the the pilot started talking to us and it was kind of muffled and he didn't explain it very well. But the gist of it was, we're not really sure if we have enough oxygen. And I'm like, well, we kind of need that. <laughs> and he was basically like, so we're pretty sure that we have enough oxygen for this flight, 
Um, but the mechanic just wants to double check <laughs> to make sure we have enough oxygen. <laughs> And like, so on the one hand, I'm kind of like, well, if you think you have enough oxygen, just go because we've been sitting here for so long. But then on the other hand, <laughs> that's ridiculously dangerous. <laughs> oh my God. So they like cleared everything and made sure that yes, we do in fact have enough oxygen <laughs> to last us for the duration of the flight. But I was like, I've never heard that as a reason for a flight being delayed. I'm sorry, we don't have enough oxygen. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so I also loved how the kitchen, I, I lost, love how everything this turned out. But the kitchen, um, I decided to go with white countertops. It kind of took me a while to settle on this just because I didn't want it to be, I feel like the all white countertops can be kind of stark, but I felt that putting the really dark orange walls behind it and adding some of the orange appliances sort of balance it out and it didn't look as just like jarring. I, I wanted, I, I always want more countertops, but one of my favorite things about this kitchen is it has the laundry like in the kitchen area, which I feel like for Americans, this is a little bit odd. Like it's not like completely foreign, but it's, it is, I feel like I had never seen that before until I watched like a home improvement show. I think it might've been even like no, it was like love it or list it. Yeah, that's the first time I saw one. And so they had the laundry like tucked underneath one of the kitchen counters, which I thought was really interesting. And usually you'll only have like a washer in the kitchen. Sometimes you'll have a washer dryer, but I think usually it's just a washer. But we had room for both. And I put it over here. I, I wanted to put like that big shelf we got in dine out here, but it was just so bulky that it really took up the space and made it look really narrow. So instead I went with the laundry and I think it's kind of cute here and I love how orange the appliances are. I mean, how could I resist <laughs> when I'm doing an orange themed build? Need the orange. But yeah, I feel like I should explain why orange is my favorite color. Kind of, I mean, I just, yellow is also, it's like a close second, very close second. Um, but I feel like orange is so so bright and happy and it can of course go real south real fast and look muddy and gross. Or I feel like if it's just super neon, it kind of can look sort of cheap in a way. I feel like, and I feel like that's why people don't like that color as much. I think they associate it with neon, cheap, low quality. And so, but when you get something just orange, that's just so pretty. Oh, I love it. I have like an orange bedspread, like completely orange. That's amazing. My water bottle is orange. I don't wear orange though, because I don't think it looks very good on me for one. And two, not very many clothes come in orange because again, orange doesn't sell. I don't know why. So it was kind of exciting to do a build where I showcase this orange color and I know it won't be like everyone's cup of tea, but it was still a lot of fun to do. <laughs> it was just so much fun. And so yellow is definitely my, my second favorite. And I do actually have clothes I, that are yellow, a lot more of them. And I have two different yellow scarves. One is more of a bright sunshine yellow and the other one's more of a mustard yellow, which are both very fun colors. <laughs> oh, do you want to know Hungarian word of the day? So in Hungarian, the orange fruit is a naranj, but the color is naranjsarga. And I think I'm overdoing those R's like a lot, mostly because I'm just excited that I can roll my R's. But anyway, so it's, it's naranjsarga. <laughs> said that really bad. Um, but the funny thing about that is sharga Shar sharga the um, <laughs> is <laughs> sorry um is that sharga means yellow so the color is like orange yellow and the fruit is just orange and that always just is really funny to me also this painting right here it looks a lot less orange than I remember it looking. And I think it's just because it's around so much other orange. And so when I put it in, I was like, perfect. I got this orange painting. This isn't orange. <laughs> and I think I did end up switching it for a different swatch. But like, even then, even then it still wasn't all that orange. So I'm thinking about what else I can talk about. Cause I feel like I'm going a mile a minute today. It's cause I got a lot of, I get a lot of like, nervous, anxious energy right after class. So I'll be in class all day and like, I'll kind of like, 
um, bob in and out of like being able to focus, not focus, energy, low energy. And then like it sort of goes down, down, down. And then all of a sudden we're done. I'm like, whoa, let's go. <laughs> let's run a marathon. Let's like do three miles. Let's go home and let's record a video. And so that's where I'm at. And I'm kind of trying to hold on to it because it's quickly followed by, I just want to lie here and do nothing for the rest of my life. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if I'm extra fast today. <laughs> that's just where I'm at and I feel like because it's the first day of the quarter I'm just extra <sighs> we had a lot of class today and just really it really dragged on <laughs> it really did there are some days where it doesn't also I'm just like I said eight classes is way too many and this is not something I get to choose I often people are like you need to drop a class and I'm like I can't <laughs> It's essential. It's a part of my program. So I'm just subjected to these eight slash nine classes. Oh my gosh. I felt like this kid's room. Oh, well, of course we left it. Anyways, this one, <laughs> this room really came together with this rug. I love to use this rug. It's so much fun. It almost like blends into the floor, but then there are those other pops of color that I feel like bring it back. And it was just really exciting to get to use this. And I feel like this room would be really good for like a teen sim or a young adult um this room also gets two balconies because floor plan <laughs> so that this would be a really cool room and it has its own like bathroom so honestly in a lot of ways i feel like this is better than the master um because the master only gets one balcony and it's shared with the hallway because floor plan <laughs> uh, 186 slides you guys 186 um so if you think I'm too hyper just think about that for a little bit um but I'm also excited because in the past like few days I've gotten two huge pieces of good news um not necessarily like about me but about my friends and so I'm really excited I got a text from my one of my friends and she was like I would really love it if you would come to this party that we're throwing and I'm like oh okay she's like we're celebrating a new addition to the family and I was like oh my god is she oh my god because as last I heard she was kind of holding off on having kids because she was more just happy having dogs and so I texted her back and I'm like so are we talking about a puppy here or like a human puppy? <laughs> and she was like, a human puppy, <laughs> hairless. <laughs> so that's really exciting. I think that's, it's, it's a little scary in a way just because like, I've known her since middle school and now she's going to be a mom and I'm still in like school. <laughs> Sometimes, like, I feel like when you do, like, a graduate program, it's hard not to feel like life is passing you by and you're just still, like, in school, not making money and just, you know, and, like, then you see friends who, like, have their own houses and, ooh, it's a lot. It's a lot. I also, the other piece of news, I had a friend call me and I missed her call and she was like, I really want you to call me back because I have some good news. And immediately a light bulb went off in my mind and I was like, oh my god she's engaged because I knew she wasn't going to be pregnant. I don't know. I just knew. But I like, I just like deep down, I just knew. And so I called her back pretty soon and she's, she told me that she was engaged. And I was like, ha ha. <laughs> I just knew it. It's, it's crazy. So there's just like a lot of, there's a lot of positive things happening in other people's lives. And it's very exciting. Um, not that there aren't positive things in my own life, but yeah. So <laughs> school starting super positive but yeah so I just kind of wanted to share with you guys because I'm just so excited it's almost like I'm gonna be like you know like these two people they're like sisters to me in a way so it's almost like you know I'm gonna be a niece and you know a sister's getting married or I'm, I'm gonna be a niece yes <laughs> I'm gonna be an aunt Ugh. that leads perfectly into my next real little story <laughs> so I was having dinner with um, my mom and my dad and my boyfriend. And so my mom's talking and she's not looking at my boyfriend when she says this because that would make a lot more sense. No, she's looking directly at me and she says, you know my niece, right? And I'm like, you mean my cousin? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, 
funnily, funnily enough, I do know your niece. <laughs> Anyways, it was just like, sometimes my mom, she says the cutest stuff. She pronounces salsa as salsa. <laughs> And that just always gets to me. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Ooh, I feel like because I talked a mile a minute, now I have way too much time. So ooh, I could talk. So I did end up announcing um, who won my giveaway. Um, and so that was pretty exciting. It was, um, I put it in the comment section down below but they've already been notified so if you're like oh it might be me I'm sorry it's not they've already been notified and it's been given I really wish I could do more giveaways like that but I kind of just don't have the money to do that which is like fair I'm in graduate school and I feel like I just spent a lot on spring break like every penny was worth it my favorite okay my favorite date that my boyfriend and I had over spring break didn't well it cost a little bit gas money and we bought donuts and coffee for me but what we did is one of our favorite day ideas this sounds weird but we really like to go to graveyards it, it's like morning you know sunny it's not middle of the night creepy but <laughs> we just really like going to graveyards and kind of looking at the headstones and just like looking at the history of it and how people decide to like or their family decide to like memorialize them we think it's really interesting and we love looking at the names there was one grave in big big letters it said Gryffindorf <laughs> they're just like griffel griff griff gryffindor hufflepuff gryffindor oh but anyways we are now actually coming up on the end of this build i really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you guys are also having really positive things happening in your life or around you and just are excited but yeah um like comment subscribe if you're interested in that stuff and i will see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>